Come on, Tasha, up you get. Stop sunning yourself. Come on, it's time to earn that £3.50 in the Diet Coke. Come on. Tash, lean against the wood a bit. That's it. Just tilt your head against it and stare dreamily at about there. Something like that. Excellent. This is an exercise to help you understand which focal length you need. First thing you've got to do is to know what different focal lengths will make a picture look like. So what we're going to do is take the same picture of Tasha over and over again but using different focal lengths. Now this is one you can do at home and I really recommend you do because it'll help you get your head around it. You've got to be very careful with your composition. You've got to make sure you do this exactly right. Now I'm not going to change anything here, not the exposure, nothing. I'm, all I'm going to do is change the zoom. So I'm going to shoot a picture here of Tasha. I want to give her about that much space above her head and the bottom edge of the picture is going to be where this strap meets her dress just there. Okay? I'm going to be looking along these beach huts and in the viewfinder I've got my little grid display on and so I'm going to make sure I put the end of the beach huts in the same place in the frame each time. So this is what I mean, there's a lot of checking to do. Now then, 18 millimetres first. So 18 millimetres, little or no magnification, I'm going to get right in close, right into Tasha's personal space. Now notice I'm not zooming, I'm moving myself backwards and forwards to get the magnification in the place I want. Right, Tasha's the right size, now I'm just going to move myself to my left slightly to line up the end of the beach huts and... Perfect! Next one, change it to 70 millimetres I'm going to, I'm going about halfway through my range. Now, because I've increased the magnification, I want Tasha to be the same in the picture, I've got to move back a bit. So let's try again. That was a good guess, a bit too far, forward a bit. Again, look, don't touch that zoom. You must learn to move yourself, not zoom the lens. There we go, Tasha's now the right size, just in here a bit to line up the beach huts and only perfect. Now, I know I've just changed cameras, but in fact, I'm just changing lenses. They're identical cameras. And the way I work to save time on a shoot is I just have two identical bodies with longer lenses. Now I'm going to the 210mm end, I'm going right out to the end of my focal range. I'm using the same aperture, which incidentally was f8. I haven't changed anything. Take the same picture. So, oh, this is much longer, so I've got to go back quite a lot because I've got much more magnification this time. Focus on Tash, a bit too far. Right, okay, I've now got the strap and the dress. I've got the end of the beach hut's in the right place and shoot the picture. Excellent, that worked really, really well. Now, let's just have a look at these three. Yeah, hey, Tash, what do you think? <laughs> now, let's go for the first one. Uh, that's uh. that one. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> <laughs> Such enthusiasm. As you can see, a wide angle lens is not at all flattering. It's pulled Tasha's features, it's pulled her face right forward, but it's not very nice at all. But look around the rest of the picture. The beach huts are kind of going off into the distance like that. You can see a bit of the sea and you can see a bit of the pier, but it's very, very tiny off in the background. It looks like it's a very long way away. Let's now go to the 70 millimeter shot. If you flick between, there's really quite yeah, a difference, isn't nicer. there? Yeah, it yeah. is. So you look much, much nicer. You look normal. Your face is the right shape. The beach huts are sort of straightened up. They're vertical and they're sort of going off into the distance in the, in the correct fashion. But look off to the sea. We've now lost the sea. And the pier head, which was a tiny little dot earlier on, has now become much bigger. Just flick between the two again. Yeah, it's and then up here. Right? Yeah, everything's kind of jumped forward a bit. And in the final shot, I'm going to put this on the ground because I hate dangling things on camera straps. The long lens shot, we've actually lost the sea altogether. Yeah. That's gone. The pier head building is now occupying almost the whole of the top left hand corner of the frame. We've almost lost all of the sky. And you are really sharp in the picture, but almost everything else is a little bit soft and fuzzy three very very different images of exactly the same thing. All we've done is change this focal length. Let's just recap, let's really pull this apart and see what's going on. When you change the focal length you're changing three different things. You're changing depth of field, that's how sharp, how much sharpness goes back to front in the picture. The longer your lens is, the shallower your depth of field will become regardless of which aperture you use. 
we're changing the field of view. That's how much you're getting in from side to side like this. The short 18 millimeter lens is including lots of things. That's why we could see some sea and the pier in it. We're also altering perspective. Now perspective is how close together things appear, how crunched up they are. Now, the 18 millimeter end of things, stuff appears to be a really long way apart. It makes spaces look bigger than they really are. And that's how an estate agent will make a pokey little room look enormous. So in the 18 mil shot, it distorts things as well. So things that are close to the lens or near the side of the shot, they'll really get bent and distorted. That's why Tasha's face was pulling out like this. So the wide lens has extended perspective. It's made the beach huts go off forever. It's pushed the whole pier way, way back and it's included loads of stuff to either side. The 70 mil lens has closed that field of view a little bit and it's brought everything a bit closer. And this is roughly how we see the world. Also, the depth of field between the 70 and the 18 isn't massively different, but it is noticeable if you look for it. Then when we go to the final image at 210 millimeters, Field of view has really closed up. We've lost all the pier pretty much. We're just looking straight up the promenade and we're seeing a bit of the pier head building and the cliffs beyond. And they have really magnified in close. Perspective has totally flattened. The beach huts have all boom, jammed together. And Natasha has become the absolute focus of the picture because depth of field has shrunk massively. And because I focused on Tasha, she's really sharp, but virtually nothing else is. So that's how you can find out what the different focal lengths do to your picture. Go out and practice that for yourself, it's really important.